In order for some of us to wake up, we need a wake-up call. I've been living with chronic pain. I was diagnosed with lupus. MS. My right side of my body was paralyzed. I have a brain tumor. So it was stage four, and that was a shock. I had never heard of anyone living from stage four. Unfortunately, in today's world, the stresses are 24-7, 365. So the net result is illness and disease. We have a sick care system where doctors and insurance companies are basically treating symptoms but aren't really getting to root causes. They leave with every kind of medication. Which then has a side effect, and so you basically become a victim twice. Okay, so believe the diagnosis. Now you can do something about it, but don't believe the prognosis. You know, if someone says, well, there's a less than 1% chance of recovering from the kind of cancer you have, and why couldn't it be you? What seems very, very clear to me is that my body wants to be healthy, but it's the head. It just, it's the fear. I don't know who I am without being sick. In a way, we have more faith in the power of cancer to kill us than we have faith in the power of miracles, the power of infinite possibility. The body has a capacity to heal that I was never informed of as a medical student or resident. The best science of our time is now showing that every organ in the human body has the ability to heal itself. What we see here is belief itself shifts biology. So if I change my perception, I change the signals that are adjusting the function of the cell. The power of belief is, it's almost everything. Your body loves you, it loves you unconditionally. It doesn't matter how long you've been sick, you can heal. These symptoms are brilliantly intelligent in waking us up. This life is as beautiful or as terrible as you make it. The Buddha said that every man and woman is the architect of their own healing. And that intelligence that's giving us life, it is the greatest healer in the world. All we have to do is get out of the way.